the 18th century. Under the influence of the philosophers, opinions are stirred. It's not quite as late as I thought it was. Royalty, religion, hierarchy, tradition, the very foundations of society are put to the question. The mind no longer wants to accept anything that hasn't the good as its basis. If we were to judge a servant by his virtues, there would be few masters who would be good that <laughs> For Montesquieu, providence no longer held any importance in the evolution of society. Like Locke, the English philosopher, he recommended the division of power. Diderot extols the virtues of science over those of metaphysics and religion. Buffon tops that one by insisting that the creation of the world happened more than 6,000 years ago. This is a barbaric age. Why are you always insulting our poor century? Ah, and what might we praise it for? Stupidities of all kinds. The liberty of thought, universal attraction, electricity, the encyclopedia, etc. There is violent reaction. Attacked by the church, Buffon reacts and then carries on more determined than ever. The first volume of Diderot's encyclopedia is published, then panned. In spite of that, Rousseau's social contract becomes the Bible of the revolutionaries. That's our man. Let's hide ourselves until he goes away. And Voltaire, a fierce enemy of injustice, will always be in the front line of the fight against all that is arbitrary, against obscuritism, fanaticism. Reason is our best friend. I'm your master, and I'm never wrong. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Poor take. <laughs> ah, shall we go? Oh, it doesn't look very funny, so let's go to the cafe. A gentleman will philosophize. To philosophize is to give to reason all its dignity and its rightful place. It's to shake off the yoke of opinion and authority. That's what was written at the beginning of the 18th century, The Age of Woman, by Madame Lambert, the gentle and strong Marie Therese as Empress of Austria, the great Catherine as Tsarina of Russia, Madame du Deffant held her salon. Madame du Barry has taken over from Madame Pompadour, who like reigned over France well, for 20 years. As experiment. for the king, he might have had the best intentions for his subjects, but he didn't know how to bring this about. the enormous energy that is contained in the rod that you are holding, and you shall, messieurs, be flowing with electricity as soon as I pinch the copper wire. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Abbott no light. And what's the use of that, I'd like to know. <laughs> <laughs> what's it all for? Can anyone say? Electricity, I'm wondering what it's good for. All he's done to stop it can be quite correctly called useless, all quite useless. Tonight was a disaster. The take is only three coins, and so here's one for you, Maestro, one for you, and one for you, Piero. I offer my pay to Pierrette. Mm, and I do, too. I won't do. No, I don't want to accept it. I mean, that's better. Well, all right, so that you're all happy, you share yours with him. And Pierre share with me. Uh, why not the contrary, huh? Why not have Pierrette share with me? And there, that makes two. I think that's enough for now. We're going touring. The foreign courts are looking for French actors. I'd like to play in Potsdam. Oh, and me in Vienna before the Empress Maria Theresa. And me before Catherine of Russia. My dear Pierre, you are delightful. Uh. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Uh, 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 uh. Risking to be skewered by the Russian bayonets, my friends, or to be stabbed by the savage Cossacks? No, thank you very much. Mm. Ah, then we'll vote with a show of hands. Those who are for it, raise your right hand. It's decided. We leave tomorrow. What else? In 1768, Corsica is acquired, and just in time, so that one year later, when Napoleon is born, he's born a Frenchman. I almost in 1771, Cugnot invents the trolley, and the latest volume of Diderot's encyclopedia is published and comes out stirring up enthusiasm and, you'll and excitement. regret that you didn't want to listen to me. That's the list of accomplishments to date for the century, but it's also an indictment against the absolute monarchy and the church. Nobody In 1775, Frederick II reigns in Prussia. He is cultivated, author of works in French, and sees himself as an enlightened protector of the arts and letters. John Sebastian Bach came to his court, and Voltaire stayed three years. This didn't stop him from being despotic, anti-liberal, and convinced of the merits of an organized army. He wasted no time, as soon as he was in power, to use his powerful army to pounce on the Austrian Silesia. Gentlemen and Sergeant recruits! Now, what are they up to? We have to leave. Yes, to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, would you mind giving me your signature? Why not? Why not? You sign right here. Sure, I... Uh... Perfect. And you here? Do I sign? There. To the Emperor. Prose it. 
What's going on? We're waiting for you. These two men just enlisted in the army. Don't argue, please. They're all mine. You're we joking, are all of course. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to do, you could be my queen. You have to help me. <laughs> Our friends are in trouble. I don't need more troubles. I got my own. They were conscripted under false pretenses. Oh. Hey, take it easy all the same. <laughs> Hi there. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi hey there. You both signed up your soldiers now and you have to stay. Frederick felt he was beyond the soft, limp sentiments displayed by the French in the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, even though he was the main beneficiary. Uh, he's a wee bit impulsive, as you can see. Uh, so long. See you soon. Uh, <laughs> This poor animal won't go much further. We'll soon need another good horse. Loaded like we are, one horse will never get us there. Oh, there's a farmhouse there. Hello. Hello, good man. Oh, you're a doctor? Yeah, oh, you're just in time, sir. It's beyond me. My parents are all sick since the king first ordered us to plant all those potatoes. Oh, we did as we were told. And we've eaten all the leaves as soon as they appeared. What? You've eaten the leaves? But it is the bulbs that you should eat. It's the roots. We'll show you how it's done. Cook, add a little butter, and they're excellent. Ah, now you're all cured. You see how good potatoes can be, but eat the roots, not the leaves. Will this horse do in payment? Oh, that's more than enough. Oh, it's all The soldiers, the soldiers, let's oh. go. They're close. Men, search this farm. You plant all these potatoes and then you eat them just as soon as they show, and that's an order. In 1772, Frederick was to be the instigator of the infamous partition, along with Marie Therese and Catherine of Russia. His friend Voltaire voices no protest at all. Hadn't the king paid for these noble sentiments? Philosophers reveal what should be, and the kings are there to see that it's done. What will we do? I think we're caught. Men, seize these fugitives. Ah, my good lads, thought you could get away, huh? Who are these foreigners? They're Frenchmen. I'd like to know why you came to our country. Uh, to put on play, sire. Very well, you're invited to put on your show in my palace. But, uh... Oh, bravo, bravo, but, bravo, but, bravo, bravo, bravo! Sire, these men are deserters. Still gestanden. Wir machen sie da. Hundenpack Schweingesind. They're coming to Potsdam. And you had better obey all my orders, gentlemen. Liberalism was used only abroad. At home, Frederick thought only of tightening his disunified state. My friends, we have at last a great setting for our productions. From that time on, the Prussia of Frederick the Great was to be reckoned with. It was in 1762 that Catherine came to the throne of Russia. Well, almost, but there was her husband, the weak Peter III, who no sooner in power sided with Frederick of Prussia, to whom he gave his undying admiration. There was a little straightening out to do, and it was done soon enough. And somewhere, locked in a dark dungeon, there was the pretender to the throne, Ivan VI, who had reigned only a few months. That problem would be solved soon enough, too. And Catherine, Empress at 33, would be able to continue the good work of Peter the Great, modernizing her state, pushing back her borders from the Baltic to the Black Sea. The Great Catherine is also protectress of the arts and letters, an enlightened despot. She keeps the enlightenment of the age for her personal use and for propaganda. She uses her blustery liberalism. The serfs are bought and sold like cattle. The treatment to give to people who deserve it. Receiving Diderot in 1773, Catherine says to him, With your great principles, you're making fine books and very poor men. But you're cultivating misery for your people. What about the rights of man? You, you, sir, work only on paper. It suffers you, my friend. Potemkin! Highness. That's the beautiful city of St. Petersburg. It was a Peter the Great who constructed it. This river is the Neva, the principal means of communication along all the big buildings here. And they're putting in those huge piles and putting them deep to build on marshy land there. 
But let's be fair, Doctor. Whenever youth and love get together to foil an old man, anything they might try to do might in the end be termed useless. <laughs> My dear Potemkin, I would like your opinion in the matter. Come in! Highness, here are the French actors you asked to come to your royal court. Welcome. Welcome to you all. Hmm. Ah. Does this young man also belong to your group? Yes. It's just that I'm 38, Your Majesty. Really? Our actors are to play before the court. I want to talk to the young man in blue. As you wish, Heinels. Monsieur, Her Majesty commands your presence at the performance tonight. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I... Be careful. At the palace, one obeys all orders. Oh, if I understand, you want to be Pierre the Fourth, or perhaps Pierre the Great with your Catherine. We've got a role that suits you. But do I have Excuse any choice? Excuse me, I'll show you what choice uh, you've got. Ah, me no. Our actors will not play before the court. Come on, Pierrette, you'd best think it through. You'll see, you'll be sorry if you like this. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. Immense domains belonging to the clergy were secularized. Entire villages built in the Ukraine on the Volga. Judicial and executive powers were made separate. The wealthy landowners were heavily taxed. In spite of everything, Catherine the Great really deserved her country. The disunified Austrian Empire contained 24 million inhabitants. In 1740, when the Habsburg throne falls to her, Marie-Thérèse is 23. This awakened the greediness of her neighbors. Frederick II's brand new army lost no time in seizing Silesia. France, Spain, Saxony and Bavaria make an alliance with Prussia. How time flies! Our little Pierre is two years old today. But the pious and gentle Marie-Thérèse stands firm. With the help of her clever minister Kaunitz and her generals Daun and Lassie, she holds up against the entire house of Austria. Mm. Oh, something to drink, please. Oh, look at you. Why, you're drinking like a fish. <laughs> this one is empty. That's too bad. Not much we can do for you, my good friends. I'm sure I saw an inn before. They might be able to refill our bottle. And there it is. A good day, gentlemen. Come in. This way in peace. Ah, uh -huh. looks like we've got some good customers there. Don't you want to offer them a drink on the house? Uh, sure. <laughs> a drink. Oh, no thank you all the same. I'm not used to being refused. Oh, no, we're in for it. Hmm. I've got a... Okay, friends, I command you to seize them. This time everything seems to have gone well. Oh, well, oh, 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 oh. Perhaps another problem with recruiters. Pray no one hurts them. Oh, I almost forgot. Uh, look what I forgot! <laughs> In 1772, the virtuous Marie Therese painfully resigns herself to the infamous partition of Poland. And even though she could not oppose her Prussian and Russian neighbors, she at least managed to get the largest portion, Galicia. Come and see my fresh vegetables! All the good things to eat, fresh vegetables! Come and see! Don't be shy! <sighs> Oh, I'm thirsty. Can we stop? Oh, look, there's an inn. And we got time for a little drink. Don't you agree? That's not a bad idea. I'll go with you. Uh, oh, no. You know, I think that you've had enough. I'll go and take a little look. It's fine. Could you, could you, could you? Why don't we stop at this place? We'll mm. catch the devil if we don't find someone. I got a feeling we'll pick up one or two in there. You are sure? Hey. Oh, welcome, gentlemen. Oh, 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 don't go away. Cross it. 
Since the year 1765, Joseph, the oldest of 16 of the Empress's children, was heir to the throne. One of his daughters, the Austrian Marie Antoinette, was to come to a tragic end on the throne of France. Schönbrunn Castle is which way? In front of you, you see, just in front of you. Oh, thank you. The young Mozart is often a guest of the royal family at the Chateau of Schönbrunn. The day is moving much slower than I thought. As best it could, the patient efforts of Marie Therese continued to be felt until 1918, and Vienna remained the special center of a brilliant civilization. Oh, no, it's not an abbot there, so high and noble it must be Count Almavita. <laughs> I think, I think it's that rascal Figaro. 1783, it is in England that our French actors feel they would like to set up their stage. Adam's theory, live and let live, is the Bible of the English middle class. It'll show Europeans to be thinkers and contribute to the blossoming of liberty. <laughs> David Hume, a disciple of Locke, goes on about the virtues of experience, which alone can teach. Experience alone instructs. I've just been well instructed. Watt keeps on improving his steam engine. He adds the alternating piston to it. Experience is the only truth. I've really learned this time. Oh, my goodness. Well, well, well. Mm, all right, I'll try something else. Oh, you'll never grow up. All right, all right. We'll do another one. Let's see. Here, Graves, Arkwright, Crompton improve the spinning machine. Ah! Oh, come a look. It's England. Cartwright will perfect the mechanized wheel. I'd say it was perfect. Ah! <laughs> Oh, seems very cold. Oh, I'd love to do that too. All right, let's do it. Hey, wait, let me get closer, will you? Hey, you, uh, please, we don't want you to jump any garbage on our beach. Oh, 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 They were manufacturing cast iron from coke. It was the Industrial Revolution. And any kind of work was productive. Well, for some more than for others. To fight against the miserable condition of the proletariat, the first trade unions were formed as far back as 1776. There were the first strikes. I say, my dear, bit of tobacco. This same year, 1776, was the year of the Declaration of Independence of the United States of America. <laughs> it was also the year of the rejection of eco taxation by the Parliament of Paris. What's that? Oh, they're not going too fast. Well, you look at the slow pokes there. Bet you I could put the boat in the first place in no time at all. I'd like to show them. i like to show those guys. I did it. To make up for their defeat in the Seven Years' War, France gets involved in the war in America. Lafayette and Rochambeau will distinguish themselves. That's it, sock em. Sock em. Don't fool around with them. Let them have it harder. Sock them even harder. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, it's not too bad. Come on. Ready? Uh, 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 there we go. When he was 24, William Pitt Jr. takes over the head of the government to put the economy back on its feet after the war in America. 
and Wesley founds the Methodist Church with no pomp and circumstance. All together? Uh, and, oh, 5,000 years and. after the Hindus, 3,000 years after Crete, a Scottish inventor finally finds the way to immortalize his name, Macadam. It is more than clear that any person who persecutes his fellow man because he doesn't share his opinions is a monster, said Voltaire. And though Voltaire, Diderot, D'Alembert, and Rousseau no longer lived, their ideas were more alive than ever. These appliance that I invented will allow us to achieve in hey, no time. Hey, hey, you keep on feeding that kid's mind with all kinds of crazy things. You're getting on my nerves. Look at the kid. Hey, mm, uh, you did that on purpose, huh? You what? Mean, just a minute, hold it. What's all this about? Let go of me, will you? Let go, yeah. you're crazy. Uh, uh, Why don't you relax a bit, huh? No, I can't. He's nuts. Uh, 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 oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the English were defeated in America. And the Treaty of Versailles in 1783 recognized the independence of the United States. Just like children. You just about through, are you? Down. Put them down. All right, all right. <laughs> The German Herschel discovers the planet Uranus. He studies the ring on Saturn, the Milky Way, and the Swiss Euler creates integral calculus. So in nature, nothing is created, nothing lost, all is Lavoisier is the founder of modern chemistry and Lagrange of analytical mechanics. What is it? I can't see why one would want to do that. It's idiotic and it's useless. Blanchard and Jeffreys succeed in crossing over the English Channel in a balloon. Yay! Uh, <laughs> oh, come on! Let's go get it! Oh! Oh, down with the... down with the invaders! Bravo! <laughs> Wait, don't do that, don't do that! There's no reason to do that! Oh, he's an evil monster in the contraption, the devil? No, my good friends, he's just a man. This contraption is progress. No witches around here, do you understand? But he's not a witch, he's not a oh, witch! Don't oh, I don't want to know, get on your way. Come on, let's go. We still have a chance to leave safely. Very well, I won't insist since that's your opinion. Gentlemen, let's go. The age of enlightenment, says Kant, is when man becomes of age. Oh, which is? I'll go and see if there's room. Hello. Uh, Hello there, friend. Hi. Don't go away, gentlemen. Uh. The same year that the American rebels launched their Declaration of Independence, based on the French philosophy of the Age of Enlightenment, in 1776, the Parliament of Paris vehemently opposed equal taxation that Turgot was supporting in spite of the opinion of everyone else. Our taxes. Equality? An unacceptable system which will bring civil disorder, claimed the learned assembly. This society, which refused reform of any kind, was soon to experience other upheavals. General would be summoned to Versailles on the 5th of May, 1789. 